When Jaguar was sold to the Tata Group by Ford, the skeptics shook their head and said that very soon the British brand would adorn anything from buckies in Mumbai to taxis in Kolkata. But in real terms, nothing could be further from the truth. Because without Tata, Jaguar would have been in deep, deep trouble. And without Tata, cars like this would have had a very limited time span. Let's face it, the credit crunch that came perilously close to forcing the global economy to its knees has not been kind to the makers of big ticket luxury goods, cars included. And Jaguar is no exception, despite the fact that the brand currently presides over one of its strongest model lineups ever. That lineup includes benchmark products such as the much admired and highly talented XF sedan, which continues to woo luxury car buyers from the more conventional German luxury brands. And then there's the XK, a sleek and sophisticated sports coupe with strong dynamic appeal. And it doesn't get much stronger than this. Don't be fooled by those classic lines and those smooth proportions. This is a supercharged, brutal sports coupe. Given its British lineage, it should come as no surprise that the XKR is an understated machine. But take a closer look and there are plenty of clues that point towards the true performance potential of this British sports coupe. Yes, the curves and contours of the XK are smooth and slippery enough to ensure a decent drag coefficient. And those huge alloy wheels so resolutely planted at each corner of the car indicate a determined approach to road manners. In the case of the XKR, the bodywork has been widened and the wheel arch is subtly flared, not only to accommodate those large diameter wheels, but also to add vital grip and control while on the move. The result is a coupe that looks poised and ready for action, but still exudes a certain aristocratic dignity, even when it's being smoked off the line. There's nothing in your face about the styling package, but the overall effect remains, hmm, well, desirable. No wonder it turns heads. There's another reason why the XKR attracts attention, the intoxicating sound of the supercharged V8 engine. It starts off as a throaty growl and ends up as a roar at the red line that really gets the heart beating faster. Of course, this engine also has plenty of muscle, maximum power 375 kilowatts, maximum torque 625 newton meters. No wonder this car is as fast as it is. That's a lot of horses for a two-door coupe weighing 1,700 kilos, but it does ensure that the car has instant feline reactions, and fortunately, the chassis is well up to the task of taming all that power. Add a six-speed auto gearbox, and the result is smooth, effortless performance. A rigid chassis and sports-tuned independent suspension allow the XKR to deliver a thrilling and involving driving experience without the hardcore harshness of a supercar. Nor does it feel too soft not to be taken seriously. Through the twisties, the XKR's composure makes it a joy to pilot. I expected to be disappointed by the conventional automatic gearbox of the XKR because these days the trend favours dual clutch transmissions. But in reality it's so quick and so smooth that it's almost as good as a DCT box. For those seeking to explore the XKR's full performance potential, a sport button optimizes gear shifts, throttle response and engine mapping, while the stability control can be partially switched off. The big disc brakes and Brembo calipers provide vital stopping power, especially considering how quickly the two-door gathers speed. Talking of which, how quick is this car really? Well, 0-100 time comes up in 4.8 seconds, top speed limited to 250 km an hour and a quarter mile 12.9 seconds. The power to weight ratio around 213 kilowatts per ton. Jaguar's claims that the new XK is more fuel efficient than its less powerful predecessor are borne out by the combined cycle fuel consumption of only 12.3 litres per 100 kilometres. But in reality, the lure of the mighty shove and the small of your back every time you floor the throttle is usually too big to ignore. We couldn't get the consumption below 18 litres per 100 kilometres, but we got to all our meetings early, despite the traffic. And if you do get stuck in a traffic jam, the good news is that the XKR has a superbly crafted cabin with all the mod cons. The bucket seats are comfortable, the switch gear is first class and the touchscreen display works a treat. The 
aura of old world craftsmanship is very apparent, adding further appeal and emphasizing Jaguar's sports car heritage. A highlight is the Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which links high end British sound to a top class British car design. The tan upholstery and carpeting of the test car wasn't the most practical and showed scuff marks all too easily. And while the XK does offer two rear seats, you may as well ignore them for all practical purposes. There simply isn't enough room for adults. Everybody wants a sports car, but not everybody is prepared to accept the compromises in terms of refinement, luxury equipment and practicality. This Jag offers the best of both worlds, linking red-hot performance to luxury and sophistication. Add heritage and styling appeal, and this is the best Jag yet since the classic B-Type. A supercharged V8 provides huge shove and grunt, ensuring true supercar performance, while the slick auto box perfectly matches the British Coupe's persona. The result is a sophisticated, authentic sports car, offering a thrilling drive when pushed. Only the cramped rear seats blot the copybook. 